Good evening, my students, and welcome to Madrasa Net. To be continued. Today, we are going to see a new point. It's also concerning your grammar. We will see together the, or we remember together before your sequence two. سوف نرى اليوم نقطة جديدة في القواعد. وقبل بداية الدرس, we remember سنتذكر عنوان وحدتكم الثانية. We start. You have my student sequence two. It is about here me, my personality and life experiences. Of course, this is your unit two. Concerning today's video will be about what we call past simple and past continuous. We will see together these two points, past simple and past continuous, action in the past, and how can we link between these two actions. So for now, today, these two times, and how we can connect these two times with each other. We start firstly to uh, give a brief definition or what is the action of each tense. لنرى أولا ما كيف تكون حركة كل زمن. We start. We have number one past simple. What does it mean past simple? And how the action is. What does the action of past simple express. Brief here. Briefly, we can say that past simple is a completed action in the past. حركة كاملة في الماضي. الماضي البسيط هو حركة كاملة في الماضي. What does it mean? It means that past simple is an action started, started and finished in the past بمعنى أنه الماضي البسيط هو حركة بدأت وانتهت في الماضي This is why we call it completed action لذلك سمينا هذه الحركة بحركة كاملة Why? Because it started and finished لأنها بدأت وانتهت in the past Completed action in the past Then after that we see together the form How do we form how do we form the verbs, or how do we form English verbs in past simple? We have here something that we have to see. We have what we call regular verbs. In English, there are two types of verbs. في الإنجليزية لدينا نوعين الأفعال. Regular verbs, أفعال منتظمة, and Irregular verbs وأفعال غير منتظمة. Let's see together what is the form of each kind. لنرى مع بعض كيف نصرف هذه الأفعال في كل نوع. We start firstly with regular verb. We have in regular verb the form is verb plus ed. In past simple. With regular verb مع الأفعال المنتظمة verb plus ed نضع الفعل زائد ed irregular verb there is a list سميناها أفعال غير منتظمة لأنه لديها قائمة خاصة بها it doesn't follow the rule of regular verb لا تتبع قاعدة الأفعال المنتظمة لذلك سميناها أفعال غير منتظمة لأنها تتغير كليا وتصريفها there is a list هناك قائمة خاصة irregular verbs خاصة بالأفعال المنتظمة this is the form of past simple we move to the next point or the second tense which is past continuous we can see together the same thing as or with past simple. We here gave a brief explanation. What is past continuous is a progressive, continuing action in the past. It's not completed action. 
هو حركة مستمرة في الماضي past continuous this is why we call it past continuous لذلك سميناه بالماضي البسيط why because it is progressive action in the past لأنه هو حركة مستمرة في الماضي we see together the same thing the form the form of past continuous here it's not the same with past simple هنا ليس نفس الشيء مع الماضي البسيط we have the form or we can form or we form past continuous with all verbs with all verbs there isn't what we call irregular and regular verbs no the same form with regular or irregular verbs القاعدة أو تصريف الأفعال في الماضي المستمر لا يقسم إلى قسمين مثل الماضي البسيط لكلتا الأفعال لها one form لديها تصريف واحد which is subjects I, you, we, they, he, she, it plus was or where of course my students we know that I you or I he she it was and you we they were plus plus verb I n g we add to the verb I n g هذه هي قاعدة تصريف الأفعال في الماضي المستمر الفاعل was or were زائد الفعل ونضيف للفعل ing This is how to form verbs in past continuous هذا هو كيف نصرف الأفعال في الماضي المستمر The next point it's concerning how to link how to join two clauses past continuous and past simple النقطة التالية سوف نرى كيف نربط زمنين مع بعض we are going to see while using while or when وهذا الربط سوف يكون باستعمال these connectors هاته الروابط which are while and when they have the same meaning but not the same form لديهم نفس المعنى ولكن ليس نفس التفسير عفوا التصريف مع الأفعال while and when بمعنى عندما عندما let's see the form together we have note before seen before uh, before we have Here, some or one note concerning past simple and past continuous. لدينا هنا ملاحظة. What is it? When one event, which is in progress, is stopped by another action, we use past simple. عندما تكون لدينا أو عندما يكون لدينا حدث واحد الذي هو في الاستمرار، بعض الأحيان يتوقف. وذلك باستعمال الزمن past simple لدينا we have progressive continuing action it sometimes stopped when we use past simple بعض الأحيان تتوقف عندما نستعمل الماضي البسيط الماضي البسيط هو الذي يوقف هذه الحركة المستمرة so when one event which is in progress in continuing is stopped by another action, we use past simple. Then, let's see together the form of when and why. Using these connectors, we have the form while. We always use after while the tense, past continuous, and the second part should be in past simple. دائما بعد واي نستعمل الزمن past continuous والجزء الثاني يكون past simple this is with while 
So my students don't forget that لا تنسوا تلاميذي that after while بعد why we use we always دائما نستعمل past continuous and the second part will just الثاني past simple this is why the action is in progress and it is stopped by past simple الحركة في الاستمرار وتوقفت باستعمال past simple this is with the while let's see here an example while Nadia was cleaning لدينا هنا while بعد while we have the verb in past continuous while Nadia was cleaning her room the second part in past simple her father called her the verb call is in the past simple while Nadia was cleaning her room her father called her so the action is that Nadia was cleaning her room and she stopped her cleaning when her father called her الحركة كانت مستمرة مع نادية عندما كانت تنظف غرفتها وتوقفت عندما أبوها نداها This is what we mean The next form with when We have when After when The verb should be in past simple When Past simple The second part past continuous after when we add past simple and the second part should be in past continuous بعد when يكون الفعل في الماضي البسيط والجزء الثاني يكون في الماضي المستمر we have here an example when the phone rang when the phone rang this is the verb to ring. It is irregular verbs. We say rang. When the phone rang, Nadia was doing her homework. You have to remember that after when we put the verb in past simple. يجب عليكم أن تتذكروا أنه بعد when نضع الفعل في الماضي البسيط. When the phone rang. Nadia was doing her homework. The action in progress after that. بعد ذلك الحركة تكون مستمرة. توقفت عندما دخل عليها الماضي البسيط باستعمال when. When the phone rang, Nadia was doing her homework. Uh, we see here practice. We practice and of course you do it yourself. Let's see together the task and the question. Task one, open your book and follow me. The question is, correct the verbs in brackets. We correct the verbs in brackets. So, فنصحح الأفعال التي هي بين قوسين. Be careful when and why. حذاري مع when and why. We start the first one. Look here. I watch an interesting film on Friday when my friend phone me. We see here there are two verbs. We have to correct to correct them. يجب علينا أن نصححهم. لدينا هنا when when comes in the middle position جاءت هنا في وسط الجملة and there is no changement لا يوجد هناك تغيير we know that after when we put the verb in past simple that's all يجب علينا أن نعلم أن بعد when نضع الماضي البسيط okay so the first one should be yes very good my student we say I was watching past continuous I was watching an interesting film on Friday when, after when, we put the verb in, in, yes, absolutely, when my friend phoned, phoned me. عندما صديقي نداني. 
after when we put the verb in past simple phoned we add ed very nice the next one while while i ride ride while i ride my bike to school i meet my friend emma عندما دراجتي الى المدرسه التقيت بصديقتي ايما after while the verb should be yes very nice it is while i was riding my bike to school i the next part the second part yes very good i we say i met this is irregular verbs هذا فعل غير منتظم past simple is met I met my friend Emma very nice the next sentence I fell out while I play tennis hmm. while comes in the middle position هنا while جاءت في وسط الجملة the same rule it doesn't change نفس القاعدة لا يتغير شيء so fall out it changed to yes very good we say I fell out it is irregular adjective هذا فعل غير منتظم الماضي البسيط هو fell I fell out while after while yes very good while i was playing نضع بعد while past continuous while i was playing tennis i fell out while i was playing tennis the last sentence they read a text by Katie Biasin when the headmaster can in the class. The same sentence with number one. When comes in the middle sentence. Yes, we say. Yes, very good. Past continuous. We say they were reading. They were reading a text by Katie Biasin. After when? Yes. Past simple, very nice. When the headmaster came, it is irregular verbs too. هذا أيضا فعل غير منتظم يتغير لي came. When the headmaster came in the class. So my students, this is a brief exercise concerning past continuous and past simple using the connectors while and when هذا الدرس كان عن الماضي البسيط والماضي المستمر باستعمال الروابط when and while يا بمعنى عندما they don't have the same form ليس لديهم نفس القاعدة so my students uh, thank you very much hope you have understood don't forget to subscribe or visit our facebook page Thank you very much. See you next time with a new point. Goodbye.